Hello everyone, last time I gave you this problem about a fly travelling between two trains and I asked you how far the fly travelled. Now the trains were travelling at 20 miles per hour, the fly was travelling at 30 miles per hour and the two trains started 200 miles apart. There's some other information you need to know to solve this. Uh, you need to know the combined speed of the train and the fly, which is 50 miles per hour. And you also need to know the combined speed of the two trains that are travelling towards each other, which is 40 miles per hour. Now, if you want to know how far the fly flew on the first flight, then you multiply the speed of the fly by the time spent travelling. Now, the speed of the fly you know. The time spent travelling you can work out is just the initial distance divided by the combined speed of the train and the fly. Now you stick the numbers in and you can work out that the fly flew 120 miles on its first flight. And now you start the problem again. Starting the problem again, you need to work out the new distance of the two trains, which you can work out. You just take away from the original distance how far the trains have travelled. So you just multiply the speed of the two trains by the time they spent travelling, which we've already worked out. So we can just stick that in, we can rearrange it a bit, stick in the numbers, and we'll get that the new distance is actually one-fifth of the original distance. If the new distance between the two trains is now one-fifth the original distance, then it takes the fly one-fifth of the time to fly between them, which means that the fly has flown one-fifth of the distance it travelled last time. Now, last time it travelled 120 miles, so for the second flight, the fly travels 24 miles. And for the third flight, it's the same. The trains have moved closer together. They're actually one-fifth the distance they were the last time. So the fly travels one-fifth of the distance it flew last time, which means that for the third flight, the fly now travels 24 divided by 5 miles. And so on, you can keep going. And the total distance that the fly travels is 120 miles plus 24 miles plus 24 over 5 miles plus 24 divided by 25 miles plus and so on. Now, this is the clever bit. If you multiply the total distance by one fifth and subtract, then all the terms cancel until you get 120 miles. Now you just divide by four fifths and you get the total distance was 150 miles. And that's the answer. So, as usual, if you have been, thanks for watching. Hello. Are you still here? Oh. Mmm. 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 Right. There is another way to do this problem. The trains started 200 miles apart. The trains were travelling at 40 miles per hour. This means that the trains were travelling for 5 hours. That means that the fly was also travelling for 5 hours. Now the fly was travelling at 30 miles per hour. So altogether, the total distance travelled by the fly was 150 miles. There you go, you can do it. You can do it as simply as that. Forget all that other stuff, I was just winding you up. There is a story that goes along with this problem. Now apparently the 20th century mathematician John von Neumann was given this puzzle by one of his colleagues. Now, after a few seconds thought, he replied with the right answer. And his colleague said, well that's very interesting because most people try to add up the infinite sum, to which von Neumann replied, what do you mean, that's how I did it. Now this is a classic problem. I invite you to try it out on your friends, but for now, hop it.